Okay, um, we're just going to have a bodybuilding discussion here, um, cover a few topics. This is me, age 24. I'm now 28. I'm no longer a bodybuilder anymore, um, which is suitable for these commentaries, actually, because I used to try and tell people the facts back then, and because I looked this way, I was considered to be boastful and big-headed or anything, but as I always say, used to say, I never boast, I just state the facts. This is not me boasting, these are the facts. So now I'm nothing like this anymore. I'm a writer. <clears throat> I've got a book coming out this March, Kit Cope Rides the High Country, available at Amazon.co.uk and .com, directly through the publisher Melrose Press, and um, in participating bookstores throughout the UK. In fact, I've got a, I'm doing a book launch <clears throat> um, in Reading at the Waterstones, probably March or early April, late March, early April. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, bodybuilding. <clears throat> if you watch some of my other videos, I've just posted two new ones about how to gain muscle mass. Um, sorry, how to maintain muscle mass and even further develop it while losing fat. Um, that holy grail of bodybuilding that no one believes exists. If you watch those videos, they're very clearly titled part one and part two. Um, you will find the diet you've been looking for all your life if you're a bodybuilder. Because bodybuilders, I know what it feels like. Bodybuilders have this endless torment. How do I eat? How, what am I supposed to do? How should I train? And it's a big mental torment and it follows you many years and you go on a big scientific journey trying to discover how to become a bodybuilder. And in the end you discover it's so freaking simple, man. But anyway, I'm going to cover uh, an issue, uh, one of them, a topic that <clears throat> I recall from my bodybuilding days. And it's this guy who came up to me. And he was kind of looking really, you know, not envious, but, you know, kind of pessimistic and hard done by. And he said, how do you fit it all in, man? You know, as if. I somehow had magical time to become a bodybuilder and to eat all the meals and cook them all and fit them all in. And, you know, he was he had too much work to do and he, he could never fit in all the meals. And, and I just said, bro, it's just common sense. He was particularly wanting to know how to do the eating, you know, which is six to eight meals a day. When you're six foot four like me, it's more around eight. And the basic answer is, you just pre-prepare your meals. Every night, it takes one hour to prepare six to eight meals. You pack them in punnets, and it's job done. Done and dusted. Then you wake up the next morning, you come down, open the fridge. There's your first meal. Whoop, eat it. Put another two in your suitcase, or, or sorry, in your briefcase or, or your bag. Go to work. When it's time, pop it open in your office cubicle, in the corridor, on your, in the common room, wherever, at break, at school, open it, eat it, your next meal, eat it, you come home, open the next punnet, eat it, go to the gym, take a punnet with you, come home, that's how it's done. Bodybuilding is, good bodybuilding is done by intelligent people, and it's just common sense, but a lot of people overlook it. Every night, get a scale, Get your kilo or two kilos of chicken, fry them all up in one punnet or your, uh, in one pot or your beef, fry it all up, cool it down, weigh it out, pack it into six to eight punnets, put them in the fridge, sorted. And you do that every day and it takes one hour. I've heard bodybuilders complaining, man, I'm stuck in the kitchen all the time cooking. Nonsense, man. One hour, not even one hour, 45 minutes, fry that stuff up, compartmentalize it, it's done and dusted. That is another holy grail to bodybuilding. That's how you get these kind of results naturally. You have to stick to the letter. And also, it's much better to stop people from cheating. Not that I ever had this problem because I have enough discipline to avoid it, but when you don't have those foods available, when you, you, you don't go to the cupboard and open it and go, oh, maybe I'll have that instead. They're all there in your punnets. You don't cheat. You just know that's all my food for today. And I can't eat anything else. So 
I thought I'd share that with you because it's hugely beneficial, you know, considering also that maybe one or two of those meals would be shakes that you could also prepare, you know, have it in a bottle and shake it up. So, you know, it's not that difficult. It's just common sense. That's what I always say about bodybuilding. It's so much simpler than people make it. What do I take? What do I eat? It's so simple, man. You know, so anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple more minutes left on this video. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Um, well, I probably titled this video 50 centimeter arms, I think, which is what I got my arms to naturally. So, And that's quite a significant size on a natural physique. Um, Reg Park, one of the greatest natural, if not the greatest natural bodybuilder of all time, um, managed to build 18 inch arms. And I think before him, it was 17, 17 and a half inch. So 50 centimeters is pretty damn good on a natural physique. Um, of course, people want to know. Here's another thing I'll tell you about. People always want to know, can you make a routine for me? What routine do you follow? <clears throat> and they, they kind of think, if I eat what you eat, if I f follow the routine you follow, I'll get results. There's some truth to that, but the problem with following the routine is my training routine changed weekly, daily, monthly. It changed all the time. I'd mix it up because that's what you do. You shock the muscles. The best way to get continual growth is not to plateau your training and to always mix it up and shock the muscles with new, similar workouts. Like the chest knows it's going to be worked out today but it gets hit in different ways with different exercises. So that's the way you got to do it. That's the honest truth. So when people come to me and ask me what routine they should follow, I kind of think, oh, no, not another one of these guys. But I will put together some routines that I used to follow religiously, although bear in mind they always changed every couple of months at the, at the very most, you know. So, I mean, I used to do full body training. I'm one of those full body training nut jobs, you know. So, I used to do, some people can never believe this. I used to train four hours at a time, a day, in the gym. A day, not every other day, four hours a day. Oh, it's too much, you're going to lose muscle mass. You know, the amount of food I was eating, there's no way I'd lose muscle. I could run on a treadmill all day eating the food I was eating and... You're not going to lose anything. It's scientifically impossible unless you burn more than you consume. And that was impossible. <laughs> so, uh, okay, this video is coming to an end. Alan L. Trombora, once again, over and out.